Cyclone Bilal takes aim at La Reunion. A much anticipated storm is gradually intensifying and it's expected to become rapid intensification later today and tomorrow as it gets very close now to the Mascarene Islands. It's at 17.3 south, 54.1 degrees east as of right now, 6pm Mauritius time this January 13th. It is a tropical storm, 95 kilometers per hour sustained that is, with an estimated pressure of 990 millibars moving south-southwest at 13 miles per hour or 21 kilometers per hour. It's been gradually getting better throughout the day, tightening up with more centralized convection. And here is its current location displayed on the map with its wind field, which is fairly substantial, up to 125 statute miles on the northeastern side. Um, and as you can see, it's getting closer to the islands that have watches in effect, Cyclone Watch pre-alert for La Reunion and also a Class 1 warning for Mauritius. It is 419 kilometers from Reunion, 471 from Mauritius, 504 from Toa Massina, Madagascar, 743 from Mananjari and 1011 from Rodrigues. Now the forecast is, as time goes on, surprisingly is getting more and more uncertain rather than certain uh, and it now appears that the storm could stall somewhere along this line. But the primary hazard now is excessive high winds of over 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers per hour becoming much more likely for the island of Reunion with a direct landfall possible near its peak intensity. Chances are still increasing for Mauritius as well, with torrential rainfall leading to flash flooding on both islands, particularly Reunion. Well, here is what we have on the forecast right now, aided by the GFS ensembles. This is how it's looking for a landfall there on Reunion, and then passing very close to Mauritius, moving along towards the east, and then during the middle of next week, stalling and possibly even turning back slightly. Uh, very, very uncertain indeed one or two ensembles have the storm at where it is right now in five days time after reaching the islands and then turning back. Well, currently it's 60 miles per hour at least, uh, that's our estimate right now. MFR is currently at 70 miles per hour, JTWC at 65. Uh, satellite readings are improving and so it's probably going to be uh, a little bit stronger fairly soon. It is expected to intensify quite quickly, reaching Category 2 status by the end of tomorrow and Category 3 status on Monday. The JTWC forecast has the storm peaking with winds of 120 miles per hour and interestingly doesn't really slow down the storm that much. It does slow down a little bit, uh, but there is a large cone of uncertainty and of course there is still that possibility that it slows down a lot. Well, here is the GFS main parent model, and it has the storm whipping through uh, Reunion there and Mauritius with strong winds, category 3 range there. And then, as you can see there, it stalls for a little bit, uh, whirls around, and then eventually starts moving off again towards the southeast. Uh, I'm not equipped to show you the ensembles right now, but I can tell you they're pretty crazy, uh, taking the storm almost in all directions. Uh, so it can't be emphasized enough that this is very uncertain as to where this storm ends up and quite a lot of ensembles have it stalling over Mauritius for at least two days. Here's the simulated reflectivity just showing how decent the core of the storm looks there. It actually loses its eye a little bit as it reaches uh, Reunion and then on towards Mauritius. So it weakens a bit, then re-strengthens slightly near Mauritius and then weakens again afterwards after that stalling phase. Watch again as it moves down towards the south, that bit is pretty clear, uh, strengthening quite rapidly at times and obviously delivering huge amounts of rain, particularly on the southern side of the storm. That looks like it's going to be the wettest and wildest in terms of rainfall rate. 
and looking at the actual precipitation values that we're expecting over the next seven days and it's going to be very high for parts of Reunion probably more on the eastern side of the island where we could be looking at extremely high rainfall totals exceeding 1000 millimeters for Mauritius also substantial amounts there's Reunion uh, that's uh, I'm trying to figure out what it is now uh, 900 millimeters there and Mauritius at seven inches that's nearly 200 millimeters as you can see where the storm stalls further out at sea we're looking at over 1200 millimeters and that could easily be transposed to land areas if it stalls in a different place Sea surface temperatures are looking good for the storm and it will certainly provide enough fuel for it for some time. Temperatures around 28 degrees Celsius there, they're displayed in Fahrenheit on the screen, uh, dropping to below 26 degrees if the storm moves too far south of Mauritius. But certainly for the next three or four days at least, those sea surface temperatures will be looking A-OK -okay for substantial development and maintenance of the storm. So let's check the latest satellite imagery then, as you saw on the opening. Uh, it's looking pretty decent, quite clearly moving towards the south-southwest there. Rotation is getting better and tighter. Uh, convection is continuing to blow up quite a lot of it over the center. Not fully though, the south side is still a little bit bare, uh, but in general it has been improving a lot over the course of today, and I do expect that we will see substantial development overnight tonight and by tomorrow we might be looking at a mid-range category one or even stronger by the time we wake up tomorrow morning latest satellite imagery from the force 13 website you can access that live force13.com slash satellite or you can watch our automated stream which is live on the youtube channel right now uh, just take a look at the live page and that will show you everything on bilal that we have right now so it's certainly been uh, taking its time in the initial stages getting together but once it does go I think it will go pretty hard and that rotational microwave looking really good there as well. Probably be seeing a storm with an eye by tomorrow morning as we take a look at this radar imagery of some of the bands creeping closer.